Boy, take this. How much is sandpaper nowadays? Mm. Now, why are you doing that? To make it smooth so it'll adhere better? It's got a little burr on it. You should do this. You won't have to do it with new PVC, but... So tell me, what kind of wood, since you've worked for a tree company, what, what kind of wood is that oh, back I there? Know, probably pine. Pine? Why oh. are they laying it horizontal? Because this shit at one time was the was plaster, I bet. Oh, I don't understand why they lay it that way instead of... How wood came, that's how you did it. They didn't have plywood and sheets and shit. Back then, now, no, what kind of nails are those? Those look like huge staples. nails. Are those nails really, or staples? They're nails, they didn't have staples back in the 1800s. <laughs> I was saying, I've never seen anything like that. KJ, did you look all the way in there to the right? There's some weird stuff back there. Look to the right. What is oh all that? Oh, my God. That goes to, you know what that goes to? Yeah, what is that? That goes to your refrigerator. It does? Yeah, man. Are you, sh are you serious? Yeah, that's how you, your, your refrigerator. Are you sure? Or is that it? Well, the refrigerator's behind there. You don't have an ice maker, though. No? no, I refuse to have one after hmm. the one I had at Colonial Beach always froze up and made ice mountains they're paying the asses every refrigerator i've ever had has been an issue remember in in florida we had to call the repairman three times i go why am i keep paying you to come back when you should have fixed it the first time right do you remember that you were like in what sixth grade i don't know And I can put this on high speed so that my subscribers are not bored. By All the haters are just going to find something to nitpick with. The haters, yes. Mm -hmm. All right, explain to me why, for the, my subscribers, mm -hmm. why we're doing this. Because they we're don't. We're doing this because when you bought this home, these people were just trying to get the construction done, get in and out. It's a lot more work to put a P trap in there because it goes down to four inch pipe or three inch. Just has a T down there. So the pipe is coming straight from that, the drain pipe of the house straight up. It doesn't have a trap. That's why the smell is coming out. So for the prescribers that say the plumbing's underneath, well, obviously the plumbing is underneath of the house because that's where that goes. But there's no P trap. There's no trap on there. So the sewer gas is coming up and out. That's why we're doing it. So you yeah. don't smell it in the morning in here. Oh my God. I wake up every morning with and a headache. Thinking, yeah, you can't. It's dangerous. Another thing is for people that are out there, you can't crawl underneath this side of the house. Yes, you could do all this stuff underneath, but you can't crawl underneath the house right, to well, get to any of it. Tell them why we can't crawl underneath. Because I can't fit in that. I can't fit in eight inches. I know, but and. Would would some people expect you to dig out the dirt to do Nobody's that? Nobody's going to take a two hundred dollar job and make it an eight thousand dollar job for an <laughs> idiot homeowner that doesn't know anything. I was wondering. What are you going to do? Cut? Take a take a concrete saw, saw the side of the house in, crawl under there. You have no room to work. Because my crawl space is sometimes what fifteen feet down to nothing, like six inches, right? right well, because this house has had an addition uh, on it. Now, look. This is what this looks like underneath the house. Don't know exactly what the pipe. It's either a three inch or a four inch. This is a four inch pipe. Okay. Goes this way to the toilet and goes out that way. Goes to the, the septic, city water, whatever, drains, whatever, out that way. It's got a T on it. Okay. So this pipe's going this way. This is going this way. This pipe came all the way up straight to here. Well, that has no trap in it. That's why all the sewer gas is coming out. And that would be great trying to do this underneath, but it's just not possible because if anybody knows how a house is built, th there's no way to get a pipe, bend it back in here. So th you that's why you have, you have to do it up there. I understand. Okay. A lot of people don't. There's nothing wrong with explaining it to them. You know, I always wanted an old house. 
Oh, well, I think you got one. <laughs> I did. And I always Okay, where's my pieces at if you're going to be my helper? Okay, right here. Let me see it. Okay. I always wanted to live in a house where I got trick-or-treaters. I never oh, had a house. Dude. This ain't the neighborhood, dude. How come all my neighbors are, are decorating for trick-or-treaters? You do whatever you want to do. When you get to your age, you can do whatever you want to do. Yeah, that's right. If you want, you can go do the, the gardening outside topless for all I care. Okay. Uh, all right. Got to go here. And don't we have to use that go glue here. stuff? Yes, yes. Should I go get that for no, you? No, not now. Let's do a dry run. Oh, okay. Just gonna start gluing. Once it's glued, it's done. How fast is it set up once you put the... Fast enough if you don't have it in the right spot, you're screwed, then you got to tear it all back out. Oh, God, I don't want to do that. Yeah. Why don't they teach this stuff in high school to... Because this stuff right here is years of doing plumbing and doing bathroom remodeling. That's why plumbers get paid more than doctors, most of them. If I know, they're you, very rich. Most people rich. that have a plumbing company make way more money than a doctor. By far. Well, just like a, look at our neighbor uh, in Fredericksburg. He owns many, many homes. He, he we can't say no names on camera. Oh, that's that right. That means he's very rich. <laughs> Twenty or thirty millions, millions. Why don't and we the see? reason why that happened is because. When you get to a certain area, such as Fredericksburg, and you're one of the first people th that get there, yep. have a reputable business, you yep. be gain that clientele for, for years. 10, 20, 30 years. The other thing is when you have a cloning company and you go out and you do, oh, geez, my brain can't think, is uh, it's on call. It's emergency. Right. Old people love that shit. Yeah. In case there's a problem, they will come out at night. They have crews that work at night. It's on, on call. Another thing is, you can tell a very reputable plumbing company, <laughs> the ones that make the big money, they always have a sticker everywhere. So if that's you have a plumbing right. problem, they know exactly who to call, and that's how they get all that money. Well, why don't we start a plumbing business? Do you have to have a... Along with the roofing company, the siding company, the... <laughs> <laughs> cat cat business. Do, you, do they expect you to be certified? Yeah, I would think so. Well, look at all the companies that are working out there that don't say they're certified. Well, you know why that is. That's what, if, if, if a homeowner doesn't know any better, you know, you should check all that stuff. <laughs> well, that is a really cool configuration, let me say. We got to go. We need to have a little bit more meat. So. Should it go up a little bit higher? I don't know, boss. What do you think? I don't know. Mm -hmm. All right. You're going to cut a bigger piece? That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. I'm, I, I already... want to cut a bigger piece so I can make sure I get some beer money. Don't want to make don't want makes the homeowner mad. She Thank asked you. for insurance. There's inch and a quarter pipe. There's inch and a half, there's two inch, three, four, whatever. You see this right here? Mm-hmm. Okay. See this where this coupling's at? That's for a two inch pipe. Okay. So it should have been a two inch pipe, then a coupling to jump it down to an inch and a half and go through there. But we don't need to worry about it. If you want me to get it, I'd have to drive and go get it, but it, you don't really need it. Just to, she'll just put some silicone around there. But it should be a two inch pipe that comes down then you get a coupling. This is a, a coupling is where you they're, put they're two pieces by my together. Foot. They're by my foot. No, those aren't couplings. But that's, that's why that's already from the get-go was messed up. Does a, does so, a wash machine have water that goes into it? Yes, and no. out. Okay, where do you think it goes out at? I guess, does it go out that pipe? That's why it stinks. They don't okay. Have a trap on well, there. we better make that really. We sturdy. don't need to go into plumbing business with you. <laughs> okay. okay. All right, but we need to make that really sturdy. If a whole bunch of water, as much laundry we do, around it had here. the same amount of water as in it before. Well, we need to make that real sturdy. Well, how, by how? By doing what? Doing whatever you need to do. I just did it. Okay. Um, and to be honest, I see. I don't do shit like that. It needs to have a two-inch pipe in there. 
Okay. You know, see, then it won't have that fucked up gap on that shit. I don't even. All right, let me let me Hold go on, and uh, get a card for you, honey. We're gonna go. We're gonna go. We're gonna go this way. Okay, grab that in. Let's do this one first. Here. What happens if that glue gets on your hand? Tell me. It, what does it happen? You're done. What do you mean it's done? Anyway, it takes a couple days. We have to, to get, get fingernail polish remover. Will okay, it work? hold. Mm -hmm. Hold it downwards. This looks like fun. Oh, it is. It's a fucking blast. Courtney loves it. Mm -hmm. On again. <clears throat> KJ won't let anybody touch his toes. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Hold. We're gonna flip, flip it. Turn it this way. Yep. Down. What actually is the purple stuff doing? It's a primer. It it's makes softening it, and yeah, it. It cleans it. It softens it and everything to get a good stick. Okay, here we go. Can you use it on other things? Mm -hmm. mm, I don't think you would, but if you get Home Depot to do your countertops, this should they spill this shit everywhere. Hope. I had Home Depot remodel my summer home in, in Ocean City. Give me a second. Biggest mess I ever seen in my life. And nobody would take accountability. Home okay. Depot right. or the so subcontractor. Make sure it's Go flat. Go lay it flat like yeah. that. Okay. How long does it take to set up? A couple seconds. That's it? Yeah, I mean. You don't, you gotta make sure you hold it together because it'll push the pipe back out and fuck up all your measurements. Okay. There we go. Okay. All right, let's go this way. You, you, need, to you need to cover that thing. This is what you gotta do, man. That stuff is vicious. It's very strong. Oh my God. What was that thing that he was using to melt the lead? Was it lead? What it's was it? A torch. A porch? A torch. A torch. Propane, a torch. And what it, was he doing with it? He, well, he's using it to solder the copper pipes together. But <clears throat> plumbers don't do that anymore, do they? Yes. They do? Where would they do that at? You just, the houses now aren't all copper. You have PEX or CPVC. <laughs> KJ, that's awfully close to your twigs and berries. Oh my God. Can that's, you, that's you, my girlfriend. No, you could cut your twigs and berries my off. Courtney knows I have one other girlfriend. Guess what her name is? Twigs and berries? No, Makita. Oh, damn. I don't want to do that. Well, KJ, that's awfully close to the family jewels. You may want to have another child. No. You know? yes. Okay. So, so that the drywall you cut out will adhere to it, right? Well, there's nothing there. There's no stud. That's right. Okay, let me get back out of here. Bear back. What happened? Listen. So I've made this, there was no studs there. So you got to put something so the drywall screws in. Yeah, so I've watched many YouTube videos of people patching drywall, yeah, uh, holes patch. in drywall. I'm a pretty good patcher, man. What would you do without that gun and your Makita? You wouldn't be able to work. Wouldn't be very sufficient. Can you imagine doing tile work your whole life Doing it the old school way when you had to use metal lab. Yeah, I've done it like that. You had when have you done metal lab? Like most super custom homes still get shit like that done, but now everything's Schluter. Schluter systems, but I like. No, I'm work. talking about building up the bottom of a shower. Mom, every custom shower you put floor mud in the bottom of it. Yeah, but my father used metal lab. That was for the walls. That's fat mud. Oh, fat mud. Okay. What makes it fat? Because you fat have to... That one's got lime in it. It sticks inside the chicken wire. Right. Uh, wow, do they, do they ever do the fat mud anymore? With... Yes, of course they do. But I never see no mortar pans on the back of tile trucks. It's a little bit different now. You don't have to carry around all that shit. Because it's already in, in a pre-mixed powder? Yeah, to a certain extent. My father used to get mad because the cats would poop all in his sand. Yeah. Oh my God, I, that's the only time I ever heard him cussing. Jeez. Oh,